Today we're going to talk about willpower and how you can go from frustration, procrastination to motivation. Let me give you a couple examples. Let's say alcoholics, they have a problem with whenever they drink, it makes them feel bad about themselves, so that makes them want to drink more. And I think the same thing works in, in the office. Uh, you procrastinate on a project, you don't make the calls that you want to make, you don't make, you do the reports that you need to make. If you procrastinate on that, does that make you really want to do it the next day or maybe procrastinate more on it the next day? Psychologists call this the limit violation effect. You set a limit or a goal for yourself, you violate that and the effect is, is that you feel bad about yourself. It reduces your self-concept and when that happens, that's been shown to reduce your willpower even further. Now this doesn't work for all people in all situations. I mean, some people don't have this limit violation effect, but many of us do and in many situations. So I'm going to give you three solid ideas on how you can flip the limit violation effect onto its back and get willpower back in your corner so you can feel like you're getting back from frustration back to motivation. Number one, you've got to slow down. You've got to take a second. You've got to take a breath and realize if you're feeling this limit violation effect. Now, when you missed your goal, did it make you feel frustrated and less motivated? Or did it make you feel focused and passionate, like I'm going to do this no matter what? If it made you feel that way, then you can stop here. But if it made you feel like made a mistake, you missed the goal and it reduced your motivation, then you need to slow down. And if you still don't feel like getting on and getting back to your motivation, you need to go to step number two. And that is think big picture. You're part of a, a world of people who make mistakes every day. You're part of a community, an office, a group, a family who make mistakes. You need to be a little bit more compassionate with yourself, forgiving of yourself, because that takes us to step number three. Even if you don't feel like it, you need to stop and you need to forgive yourself because people who thrive in a high demand schedule, high demand life, they are better and faster at forgiving themselves. So you need to forgive yourself sooner. If you're not ready to forgive yourself even after step three, then you need to watch the next video on my two hour rule. Okay, so here's the thing. Whenever you feel bad and if you do something that makes you reduce your willpower, I want you to think, slow down. What's the big picture? I gotta forgive myself. And that will take you from frustration, procrastination, back to motivation. If you want more information on this, go to my blog at andycore.com. I wrote an extended article on it. And reach out to me at andy at andycore.com. Thanks, see you next time.